All right, for this assignment, you are going to start a short uh, book, like the books that we use for small groups or that you've read in past units. You'll read the whole book by the end of this unit. You don't have to read the whole thing today. You're just reading chapter one today, which is page two through page eight. Okay, so it's a delightful story with a very unique narrator. So we talked earlier this unit about point of view, and this one has a very unique uh, narrator. It's from their perspective or their point of view. So pay attention to that as you read. And then also there's some questions that you will answer after you read chapter one. So what does detect mean on page three? So you can look it up if you need to, or you can just go find it and um, figure out that way. Either way, you do need to then look and figure out what context clues could help you figure out the meaning of the word. Okay, so even if you go look it up on Google, go back and look for the words around it like, oh, those words could have told me what it meant. And then read these sentences from page four. This dog is jumping up and down like he is on a pogo stick. A police dog needs to be calm and collected like me. So what inference can you make about justice based on these sentences? Okay, so remember an inference is where we're figuring out something about a character, or what's going on uh, based on what they say, even if they don't say it directly. Um, so what can we tell about justice? What can we figure out based on those sentences from the story? All right. Make sure you do actually read the story. I don't know why you wouldn't, but make sure you do. Remember, you can listen to it if you need to, if you just want to read it and then use the listening to help you with some tricky words. That's fine. Uh, lots of options to help you read the story. So, yep, you can see there's three chapters, so one each week is what you will read. It is a fantasy story, couldn't happen in real life, again, because of that unique narrator, okay? The word today to finish up the phrase is cheetah. Cheetah, and not like somebody who cheats at cards, like the animal. Sorry, I was trying to pull up my pen so I could spell it for you. That wasn't working. Cheetah is the word for today. Put that in, then you'll enter it as in the secret phrase. Okay, let me know if you need help. Good luck.